These are the first pictures of the latest Airbus Zephyr plane, an unmanned solar aircraft which is currently circling above Arizona, where it's hoped it can stay up continuously for 30 days at altitudes of 70,000 feet in the stratosphere. And there it is, 25 metres long, just those two little propellers. But the most amazing thing, I think, is how much it weighs. 75 kilograms, which is about the same as me. High above commercial aircraft and bad weather, there are two suggested uses for this so-called high-altitude pseudo-satellite. Remote surveillance or as a communication platform in remote parts of the world. Pseudo-satellite. So this is reaching out to those 4 billion people in the world today that have no link to the internet and this is a game changer what the Zephyr can bring into play here. Remote surveillance. You don't fool me. 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 You don't fool me 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 satellites. Did you know that NASA has hundreds of these satellite balloons up in the air right now? I never knew these NASA satellites existed before Flat Earth. Have you seen them? Google and many other companies have fleets of these balloons as well. Look up Project Loon. The fact that NASA and its subsidiaries hardly discuss these so-called satellites was a huge proof for me because it evinces a deliberate effort to conceal the fact that space satellites don't exist. Don't exist. The whitewash of these balloon satellites is evidence that they are lying about space satellites. These high altitude balloons can carry 8,000 pounds and include telescopes, radar equipment, communications equipment, internet, etc. Here's one that almost killed some people. Finally, look at these actual NASA videos of satellites. They are manifestly fake. Look at this one. 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 Imagine we live on a flat fucking world. All, all this time we thought we lived on a round planet, huh? We have no fucking evidence to believe that we're on a round planet, only by people telling us. But we really don't know who we are, where we came from, who the fuck is our purpose here. It's fucking insane.